Proper from Crit Games, unboxing Dwarven Forge. I have here the narrow dungeon passage. So there's different types of tiles in this box. Uh, this box is the Tower Battlements. Uh, there's a reason I'm pairing these two together, and you'll, you'll see in a moment. But we'll go ahead and uh, open up this one. The whole idea of narrow passages is you can combine these in with your standard dungeon tiles. And it gives you these little one square style passages, forcing your, your party to go one person at a time, have a little choke point in your, your dungeon. It's the, the standard colors. These are uh, pre-painted dungeon tiles. So two more like that. And then they provide these kind of diagonal or triangle tiles where you can narrow up the, uh, the passageway with them, kind of fill in the extra space. So you can make this compatible with your standard dungeon tile sets. So here's more of the narrow passage, the little onesie tiles. More of the corners. More of the single tiles. You just get a whole bunch of these. You can make very long, narrow passages. And then these narrow up the passageway. So you can go from the standard size to the narrow size. And this set comes with a couple of those. And then two more of that. So you get 12 of the narrow passage type, six of the uh, triangle style, and then two of these ones that narrow up. So let's take a look what's in the battlement set. So this comes with six corners, two corners with the trap doors, a couple pillars, which are always good to have around, and then four of these kind of standard battlements. And we got our, our letter. And this one in particular has a paint job that has some of these green embellishments on it. Otherwise, you can see that there's kind of two different types, right? It's kind of a um, different paint job. Got your tops. And the corner. Here's the one that has the trap door. And it does come off, so you can have the trap door open or not. It might be important if it's open or shut in the game. And normally you get the um, battlements with one of the uh, castle sets, but these are coming separate. And then just kind of a cool looking pillar that you can use, two of those. Kind of a cool shape and the top of it is a uh, one inch. So you can put something on top, like a figure or a statue, that's one inch. Another battlement. And then this is the second trap door corner. All right, so the reason I broke out both of these sets at the same time is because you can take the narrow passages and stack them because it's narrow and it's got the two wall thick and make a wall 
And then with the battlement pieces, you can throw those down on top and make a full wall with a battlement on top. So if you're running an encounter, heroes are coming either to a city wall or maybe a castle or that type of thing. You can quickly stack these up, put the wall together, have your battlement on top, or maybe they're they're defending something, so you can have your players, you know, be on top, and then, you know, something approaching uh, this way. And you can even, if you wanted, have figures that are inside the wall if that was important for the game or not. But there you go. You can put put them all together for uh, a nice uh, encounter. If you want to see more of these videos, like or subscribe on YouTube. Find us, um, Quick Games, on YouTube. Go to youtube.crickgames.com. It'll bring you right there. Follow us on Twitter, Crick Games LLC. And uh, have a great time playing your games. Share some uh, pictures and leave some comments. And game on.